everyone. This is Curtis with We Whack a Lawn Care. Hey, today I'm sharing a video of me. Uh, what I'm doing is cleaning out the bed of the truck there. Uh, this is some uh, dervish that I, I picked up over the weekend from working at a customer's uh, site. What it was, the customer wanted to get re well, get some crepe myrtles removed and get some flower beds all cleaned up and everything. So that's what I did there. I had to um, work on digging these crepe myrtles out and getting them up from the root. And I managed to get them out. They've been in the ground for a long, long, long time. And that just took some time to uh, get them all out of there. So that's what I did. I got them out. Uh, I, I worked at it, worked it until I got them out of there. And oh man, that was some hard work. It was hot too. I, I want to tell y'all, it was hot for the weekend. You talking about 95? Oh man, it was 95. Oh, I was sweating hard, sweating hard, drinking a lot of water. Oh, but I managed to get all of that all taken care of. Got it out of there. Um, Got it, you know, just just get all got everything out that I needed, and I had to uh, well, wanted to get that all hauled off. And so I said, well, okay, I can I can haul it off. So that's what I did. I I put it in the bed of this old truck here, the old Ford, and just hauling it all off for him. You know, it, it was a lot, and the flower beds I had to clean it up. Had a lot of old. Uh, see grass and some weeds and all of that so I had to shovel some of that stuff up put it in the wheel bar and wheel board and shovel it and get it into the bed of the truck and you know I did I see that's one of them old quirk myrtles right there that's a big one now that one took some time to get up I had to ooh, dig deep down in the ground and get that one up but I, I managed and so what I done was once I got it you know up out of the ground then to uh, make it a little bit lighter. I'm taking out, cut those bigger branches off so that it can be light where then I can move it around. And that's where, you know, a little chainsaw comes in handy. Just trim that up and get it off. Get it all taken, taken care of, you know, put it in little pieces and make it light on you so you can maneuver with it. You know, working solo, so you gotta think of ways that you can get the job done in a timely manner. So it's always good to have different tools with you so that you can uh, you know, get this stuff taken care of. And so that's what I'm doing. And, and right there is the customer has some more stuff and just some bags that have some old dirt in there and um, emptying that out. So, uh, it, you know, just it just takes time to do these jobs and make anything look good. You got to put in a lot of effort in there to uh, get it all cleaned up and all for the customer. It's some more dirt. So I'm emptying the bags of dirt that was in there. It was basically it was just some old mulch and stuff. So put that in there that had some weeds in it and everything. Wanted to get it good and clean. And so that's 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 what I did. I got it all clean. So now I'm taking it and I'm shoving the dirt back off. I'm getting the dirt out of the bed of the truck. And this takes time. So I'm uh Hey, getting it done. I'm gonna get it out of there because I got some more work here to do today for his uh, mowing some lawns. Um, yeah, got a lot of lawns I'm gonna mow. So that's, you know, more cleanups. I uh, got some jobs for um, customer mowing some uh, hedges all shaped up and trimmed. So I'll be doing that too today. Um, what else? Uh, just basically mowing some, uh, a lot of overgrown, well, not too overgrown, but it's just overgrown. Some more lawns here that I'll be doing today. Trying to, uh, just get them all, you know, taken care of and all. And working in the heat, working in the heat, y'all. So, this one here, uh, yeah, I'll be glad when I get all this this dervish and debris and dirt and all that out the bit of the truck so I can use it again. Yep. So I'm just working away, working away. 
you just got to put some muscle in there and hey, keep at it and it'll happen and that's what I'm doing you see I'm putting the muscle in it I'm getting this dirt up out of the bit of this truck I just stacked it pretty high there so it was a little it's a little easier here but it was harder when I was on the ground and working on it because I had to dig down in that ground and lift that dirt up and, and then move it and put it in the wheelbar and then take it and bring it to the truck and then shove it back in to the bed of the truck and now it's in the bed of the truck then you gotta shove it out of the bed of the truck so it was just all uh, continuous work but it's all good I, I, I managed to uh, get everything taken care of for the customer and all and what else oh the customer want me to do something else for him and wanted me to bring him some uh, topsoil yeah I want some of that topsoil for him so I'm gonna be doing that get some more topsoil I had went and got some topsoil for the customer and filled in everything but then he wanted some more topsoil I was like okay so now I had to go back and get some more topsoil for the customer. So, you know, I, it, it's just an ongoing process, guys. I tell you, it's an ongoing process. You show up and then you do one thing and you never know the customer may want something else. And that's kind of the way things work, work for me. I show up and then the customers want something else. You know, they want flower gates, they want this, they want that. And, and, and it's just a number of things that go on and on and on when you get into this business you know it, it, it it's a continuous I mean you know as you do work through the summer for it's cleaning up mulch and flower beds and decoration and cleaning all that up then you know the winter time comes in and then you'll be doing leaves and stuff and those can be oof the leaves y'all can be really time for some and you know it's uh -uh. I don't think I want to leave y'all I can tell you I spent a lot of time doing those raking and bagging, raking and bagging, raking and bagging. But they, and they, they, they get to you. But uh, mm, I think I, mm -mm. I think definitely, definitely you gonna have to raise the price for leave job. The time consuming is no, it ain't gonna be the same as a lawn cut. No, it's taking X amount of hours to get all these leaves up. So no, you're gonna have to uh, fix that problem start fixing that early and then what I would say if you have customers and they want that you gotta let the customers know hey this is not a lawn cut this is a leaf clean up and you know it, it takes time if you want to wake up bagged up mulched up it takes time to do that and so just let them know if they want you to do it just tell them what you're gonna charge and go from there because hey time is money you can't waste all day raking a yard you know and I'm gonna pay you a long cut pay you know for for raking you know eight hours of leaves you know come on at least that's what they try here that's what they try and I, I end up just quitting I'm just saying you know this ain't worth it I'm not gonna be out here raking no leaves up all day long you know you, know, you go there and you got 30 bags of leaves and then they want you to haul it off in lawn care pay. I don't think so. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> somebody else had that. It lawn cut pay. You know, you can go and, and rig somebody yard up all day long for a lawn cut pay. You know, whatever they're going to pay you to mow the lawn, they want to pay you the same as uh, raking it. Raking it with all these bags and then want you to haul it off. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Now, at four bucks a gallon, come on. Well, soon it'll be almost five, five or six bucks. Mm -hmm. Yep. See, I'm holding my gas can. It costs money to fill them gas cans up. Hmm. <laughs> you gotta hold on to every little bit you have. That's just like, you know, uh, picking up and hauling off. That's a, that's, a, that's a fee for that. I had to burn gas burn gas go to the customer then you got that extra weight in the bed of your truck that you hauling so you got to charge for that that's you know you pick it up and then you burning gas and go over there and haul it and get rid of it so then I had to pay for a dumping fee for that 
So you have to figure all of that in. You know, you know, uh uh. Uh uh. You gotta have all your, all, everything already mapped out and planned and what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it. Because it's, it, 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 it's, it's to that point, it's expensive in doing this type of work. It's very expensive. You know, and, and then I'll get it, you know. It's, it's People are already shopping around. And, you know, hey, I'm shopping around too. I know that. I, you know, I know it takes money to operate this stuff. It takes money to have the tools, the rakes, the shovel. You gotta buy those things. I had to go and buy them. So, I had to burn gas and go to that, that store and get those tools. Everything costs. It's not easy. And that's the thing we have to uh, be aware of, cost. Can't, you can't be doing this and not able to have any replacement costs. You don't burn up your gas and your time, and then, you, and then your bills come in and you don't have the money to pay them because you're wasting time over here with, you know, these customers that, um, can I say, looking for these bargain, you know, looking for these bargain uh, workers and stuff, you know. No, you know, bargain. They pay the same price at the pump as you pay, unless they got an electric car. And then they got it. You still gotta, you gotta charge that thing up. That's gonna cost money per kilowatt. You know, maybe paying like, you know, I don't know, 17, 18 cents per kilowatt. You know, what, you know, what plan? Not much. You know, energy you use costs money. So. You just got to be aware of the facts, and, and, and uh, that's just the way it is, and just the way things work in life, you know. You have to be aware, and if you're not aware of it, then you need to start uh, getting aware of the cost. It's going to cost to do some work. You know, it ain't, it ain't just work and work and you're getting rich. No, it's, you, you got to be wise with your time and your due diligence in getting stuff done. I mean, it's very important. So don't play like it ain't, because it is it's very important. And I know we all would love to have customers, good paying customers and all, but this stuff costs money. It costs a lot of money. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's true. Hey, I'm just being real about it. I can be real as real. It costs money to be the boss, you know? You're going to be the boss. It's going to cost some money. And you're going to have to spend some money. And I tell you, I have spent some money doing this. I got the receipts. You know, you, go, you come out there and, hmm, in a year where you, you, you look at your gas bill, five, six thousand dollars for this fuel. You. What? You know, in a year? What? It costs. You spend a lot of money in fuel. You know, think about your oil changes, think about your gas mix. Hey, the cost. I must say, it, I mean, you, you just have to look at it. Just look at it and be aware of it, y'all. And uh, you know, you you you'll, you'll figure it out. Sometimes people are gonna be figuring stuff out. You're like, oh, it's, uh, you know, oh, well, you can do this. You can do it. No, I can't do it. I can't. I can't do it. Maybe somebody else can do it. And maybe they, they probably can afford to do it. They richer than me, you know. <laughs> I'm struggling out here. I'm just trying to make, as that as that old scene, that old slang. I'm just trying to make some ends meet. That's what they would say. Ends meet. That's just a slang I've heard some people say. I say what? Making what? I'm like, okay, I got you. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing. Struggling, you know. It's it it is. It, 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 I tell you. It's tough out here, but as time go on, things will get better. You, know, you just gotta work through them. Just keep working, keep working, stay busy, and it'll get better. You know. Yeah, right now, y'all, I'm just taking in the uh, raking out the rest of that dirt in the bed of the truck to get it out of here. Yeah, just want to get it clean, get that out of there. 
because uh, I got some more work to go do. I gotta free a bit up so I can use the truck some more. That's right. I gotta keep it. I gotta keep the truck moving. If it ain't moving, then hey, ain't making no money. So in order to make that money, you gotta keep stuff available and ready to go at all times so that you can go get it. Go and get it. It's out there to get y'all, so you need to be ready to go get it. And that's what I've been doing. I, I try to stay ready to go get it. You know, I have obstacles, stuff getting in the way. Stuff just wants to just get in my way and stop me from going to go, go get it. I don't, you know, and you know, if you're like, oh man, you like, oh, what in the world? But hey, don't let it get to you. Just, just, just say, well, you know. That was just another bad day. <laughs> There's got to be some good days on the way. You know, you just got to keep looking for those good days. Because we're going to have, we're going to have some bad days. Some days that we just, mm -mm. you know, you, that's all you can, that's all you can do. You're like, what? Really? Is it this? Oh, no, not at all. Uh-uh. But we're gonna get that. We're gonna get that. We're gonna get those kind of days. But uh, we get beyond those days and we move on for better days. And like I say, as the time go on, things will get better. And so while we keep moving and working, we'll get to see those. We ain't gonna sit down. Mm -mm. We're gonna keep working and moving. And we're going to see better days. And that's what we're working for. Better days, good times. And that's what it's about, y'all. Having a good time. Enjoying yourself. Stay happy. You know, don't don't, don't let nothing uh, get you uh, deterred where you feeling all down. Hey, it happens, it happens. This is the way life is. It's, it's been a many days that... Uh, I done had some good days and I done had some bad days. But let me tell you, my good days, I wait my bad days. Because I've had a lot of good days and I'm thankful for those good days. You know, so, and that's something you have to be thankful for every day that you get and try to make the best of it if you can. But sometimes we just can't because obstacles get in the way. And when that happens, all you can do is just shake your head and say, you know what? It's okay. I'm a little down now. Yep, I'm a little about down now. But you know what? Tomorrow's gonna be a new day. And uh, I'm gonna be lifted back up. And with that new day, I'm gonna try to make the best of it. That's right. I'm gonna try to make the best of that new day. Cause every day is a new day. A day that you've never lived before. So, you know, every new day that you are blessed to open your eyes and see, you try to make the best of it, the best you can. And that's what I do. You know, I'm thankful for every day, every day that I wake up and I keep moving and doing something. And, you know, I just want to say thank you, thank you. Because it's a blessing to be able to do this. And, you know, by me doing this lawn care, I have seen a lot. I've had a lot of customers, and I don't visit those customers anymore because those customers are not around. But I want to say I was thankful to be able to go and serve my time with those customers and doing this lawn care. Yep, it was a blessing, y'all. So I'm thankful. So I, I, I cherish my experience in out here doing this so it's been good it's been good but guys I'm getting ready I'm getting ready to move on that's right I'm getting ready to move on let's got some more to go do all right guys I managed to get this here unloaded from the bed of this truck get all this dervish here all well removed from the bed of the truck get that out so now I'm gonna head and uh, get loaded up and go uh, take care of some lawns here today 
So, uh, gotta keep moving, y'all. Gotta keep moving. All right, y'all. Stay tuned.